hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you guys in real time i'm going to show you guys two scenes one how to part and how i section and prepare the hair for braiding and the next part i'm going to show you guys up close how i grip the roots and it's all going to be in this video but it's just going to be like later on it's going to be in separate parts i'm going to show you guys like two different scenes right here i'm just preparing her hair i'm parting the part off that i want to box braid i like to do a rough giraffe part first and then go in with the shine and jam you know you know i use the shine and jam on all my braiding styles and i use that to perfect the parts or get the part cleaner and so you'll be able to see everything better and it allows the hair to lay down a little as well so yeah so that's a good product to use when it comes to defining the part and when it comes to laying down the roots of hair especially if you're natural so this is how i'm parting this row off so once i finish all the parting i'm going to use a little clip and i'm going to clip the straightaways and the hair out the way and i like to twist my sections as you can see to prepare them now this is the amount of hair i'm just showing you guys how the hair looks per braid um, I twisted it up so you guys can see as well. Okay, so right here, as you can see, I end up parting the hair in three sections. I braid hair differently in different areas of her hair, depending on how I can grip it. So as you can see, I interlock two pieces of braiding hair, and then I started with the left side with being one piece and the right side being two piece. Now, as I lay the the hair onto the head, I end up really flipping the piece over to lie and grip closer to her scalp, if that makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and repeat to show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, so the left side, I have that one piece. The right side, I have two pieces. The left side, I grab a piece to match the left side, and the right side, see, I split it with my fingers and then twist the hair onto the root to make to grip it tight. Once I do that, I use the other finger and go on the left side and go under that piece to grip. It's all about what's easy for you to grip. Some people it's easier to grip in three pieces, and some people it's easier to grip in two pieces and one pieces. So in order to blend her hair in, I'm going to use the shine and jam with the comb, and I'm going to just continue to smooth that on the parts of her hair that is that are not blended. And that's how I'm going to just continue doing down the braid and for all the braids, all the box braids. So, you know, travels are box braids in the back, and then it's feed-ins in the front. So for the back of her hair, I'm going to do box braids. Now, you don't have to do a million box braids in the back. You really can spread them out. I spread them out a little bit, but um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't really do too many, I don't think. Did I count? I think I did about 20, 20 box braids maybe in the back. So you don't have to do like an uber amount. But yeah. So starting on the second braid, I'm showing you guys how I do it again. I like to twist her natural hair into the braid because it allows me to grip the hair better. Now, some people can braid with nails and some people can't braid with nails. I like my nails rounded and short when I do my nails because when it's rounded, I'm able to mimic the natural, natural shape of my nails, meaning that I'm able to slide my fingers easily throughout the hair. If the if the nails were sh uh, square and sharp and things like that, it would get snagged and it won't flow as good as when your natural nails, when it mimics your natural nails, like the rounded shape and short, of course, so I can be able to grip it. Now, I'm sure I'll be able to grip it with longer nails, but not as comfortable as I usually would be able to grip it. So, yes, I also use a shine and jam in the yellow, the yellow one. I don't use the purple one. I think the yellow one is like the extra hold. Now, if you still struggle with gripping, you do have the option to use rubber bands. 
to just place on the root and then add the braiding hair after that. Oh, also another tip. Whenever you're starting the box braid, in order for your box braid not to slip, you see how close I'm remaining for like three or four times? I'm close to the root. I'm never really pulling away from the root until I get about the sixth and seventh time. When you're starting the box braid off, in order to stay good at the root instead of it sliding down, you're going to want to keep your hand Rest it really, really close to our scalp as you're braiding. That way, the braid can start at the very root instead of starting later on and sliding. You know, you know how it looks when the braid look like it's sliding. Uh, let's see. So, another tip I can say is okay. Sometimes when I'm at the bottom like this, whenever I start the box braids, I get on my knees. I literally get on the floor. Because it helps me be it helps me grip the hair better as well. I found whatever I need to do to grip the hair better. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this short but sweet and straight to the point video. If you guys want to know how to do travel braids, these are considered the medium lower back travel braids. That video is coming. How I do the feed ins and my method when it comes to getting the travels flat at the top. All types of little tips and tricks that you can learn yourself from the video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.